Hi everyone, I'm at UC San Diego and today I'm going to show you how to draw something very interesting. So let's get started. Today we'll be drawing the odd ones out and his dog Floof. And I'm sure you've heard of this YouTube channel because it has millions of subscribers. Look, this guy has 14.1 million subscribers just on YouTube. And you know what? That number is probably growing right now. And he is such a young artist and storyteller. And he incorporates all of his drawings based on comics that he started making when he was just 15 years old. So the Odd Ones Out character is pretty easy to draw. It's almost like drawing an emoji, but instead of a circle, it's more of an oval. And the body's pretty simple as well. Just press light with your pencil because we'll be erasing a few things after we add in the dog floof. And by the way, this book that I showed in the beginning of the video is this YouTube star's second book. And he was supposed to have a book signing in Pasadena. And I was planning on going with my son because it's his favorite YouTube channel and he really wanted to get the book signed but it got canceled due to the big coronavirus outbreak. So now I'm drawing the little dog Floof and it's best to just draw the paws first and the bottom part of the body and work your way up to the ears. This will help keep things really proportional. Now's the part where we started to erase some of the face that we started with on the Odd Ones Out character so that we can make room for Floof's ears and eyes and top of the head. Now I'm going to erase the original face that I made and I will make him have an extra big smile with his mouth open. And I think I made his head a little too large so I need to reshape the oval just a little bit smaller. Now it's time to outline everything with a marker. My favorite marker is a very fine tip marker. I don't like it to be too thick because then it kind of messes up my picture, especially when I'm trying to get the little details. And if you don't have a marker, you can press harder on your pencil or a pen. When I was younger and I didn't have any markers, I did most of my pictures with pencil first and then pen. Now that everything's outlined, you want to give it a few minutes to dry and then you can go in and erase all your pencil marks. This is optional, but I'm going to add some shading around the character just like the way they are in the book. I'm blending the pencil out with my finger and some people may choose to blend with the tissue because they don't like to get their hands dirty, but I don't mind. I'm 
Well done with my drawing. Oh, and I forgot to remind you that you should have some paper underneath of your drawing when you outline, just in case it goes through to the other side and then you will get some drawing on your table or desk and it might not wash out in your family or teacher may get mad, so be careful. I hope you enjoyed this drawing and this is another one that I did earlier. I did one with just a regular smile and then one with a really big smile. I hope your drawing came out great. Thanks for watching.